isometric drawing lesson two. We're going to learn how to draw isometric circles in this lesson. So just to demonstrate, I'm going to draw a, rectangle, a square first of all. Now, a square, 40 by 40. Try and get it as neat as I can. Inside a square, you can fit a circle. So, if I just divide this square diagonally across, I can easily find the center. All circles fit inside squares. What I'm going to use is a compass. I'm just gonna shift this a little across so we're more in the center of the page. If I make my radius, which is half of the width of the circle, the same distance from the center point to the edge, I'm going to have a go at drawing a circle inside here. So using my compass, I'm going to gently twist. I didn't quite get it central, did I? A little bit higher. I'm going to gently twist my compass and mark a circle inside the square. So you can see a circle fits nice and neatly inside the square. If we look at our 3D shape here, the cube from last lesson, what I need to do is divide my face, which we know is square, diagonally. But because it is on an angle, it is a little bit harder to draw the circle. So there's a specific technique that we need to follow. So I'm going to divide that diagonally. Then, if you remember from last lesson, this was 60 tall, six centimeters. So I'm going to place a mark at 30. The same on the other side at 30. So I'm looking at my verticals, the same on my diagonals at 30. It will become obvious why I'm doing this in a moment. So if I now join these up, I should be able to get them nice and neat through the center point if I've marked them correctly. Like so, through the center point, creating a sort of star shape. That was a smidge out. Try and be accurate. Now, I need to use my compass. So I basically need to get this circle onto this face. There's a very specific process for this. So if I mark, Point A, and the reason we've drawn these ones in will become apparent in a moment, and point B. Now, I need to get my compass and the center point of my, or the pointy bit of my compass is going to go where the A is. And I want the pencil part to go through where the B is. So if I look, I need to come back a little bit narrower for this. A little bit narrower. That looks about right. So I'm gonna push the pin on the compass, the pointy bit, into the A, and I'm gonna scribe a mark across. Through point B, and I've got an arc. Now, I need to do the same on the other side. So you can see, it's gonna cross another point here, which is in the same line as point B. If I call that point D, and this one point C. Let's pop my compass on point C. And again, the same process. I'm gonna scribe an arc. Now, this is a little bit too much like an eye. The ends are a bit too pointed, so I need to do something in these sections here. So now, I need to draw two other lines in. The two other lines that I'm gonna draw are gonna come from here, if I call this point E, and I'm gonna bring it down to point A, so E to A, 
And then I'm going to go in the same plane from C down, so if I call this one F, C down to F. So they're parallel with one another. Now, what I need to do here, I must get my compass and I need to now find a point to put my compass on. So if we look, the natural points that are arising are here and here. Don't mark that on in a pen for, you, for your drawing. You can if you wish, but not necessary. Now, I need to get the width of my compass correct so I can scribe my arc. So I'm taking the center of the compass into my new point, two point E, and I'm gonna scribe an arc. Oopsie, it's a little bit messy. Let's just get it a little bit neater. These adjustable compasses are a little bit tricky. So the ones with just the pencil in them are a touch better. But given a COVID-19 situation, this is what we're working with. Also, if you don't have a compass at home, you can practice just lightly doing this with the pencil and mark out all your points just the same. I'm making a little bit of a mess of this, so <laughs> let's try again. My compass is not playing ball, it's adjusting itself as I'm scribing. So, I'll now mark this on so you can see it a little bit neater. Your arc should be like so, if your compass stays still. <laughs> so, I now have an ellipse on my cube. What I would like you to do is to repeat this on this face and on this face as well. See if you can work it out. I'll put a little bit of a clue on Minerva for you. Well done.